Hello, <clears throat> Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it is uh, March 31st of 2024, and it's <clears throat> almost 8 p.m. Uh, the last couple of days, I guess, have been a disaster caused by, you know, caused by me. <laughs> um, where to begin? Uh, I've been very unhappy with this situation, the way I'm doing things right now, with the audio, although it's better, but it's still people are complaining about it. <clears throat> One of me, you know, moving away from the mic, and they want the mic, you know, up close, which is the way you, people doing, you know, podcasts and things like that, you know, do it. So, uh, don't even know where to begin because it's just so chaotic. Um, I want, you know, wanted to make some some changes to, you know, improve the situation. So, uh, what I decided to do was just give up on Windows and go to uh, Linux. So, where to begin? I'm afraid I'm <clears throat> going to skip something that's important. So, I looked, um, you know, I looked online at the latest, you know, versions of Linux. And I, I had run Zorin several times in the past for a short period of time. And I really like Zorin. And they, their new version was just out. So I decided, and I'm broke because it's the end of the month and time to pay the rent and all those kind of things, buy groceries. And so I'm kind of broken, uh, $42 you know, is a lot of money to me at this time of the, you know, I joke, like when I do get my uh, social security money, and then I say, oh, I'm rich, you know, of course, it, as soon as you pay the rent and electricity and a few things like that, you're not rich anymore, but, so I was really low on money, I'm still really low on money, because, uh, but, uh, for 42, well, I looked at the things online, and I really liked when I seen Zorin again, you know, the latest version that's just out, and I thought, oh man, that's really neat, and it's things that I've seen before that I really liked in Zorin and in some of the others, but um, I look so weird, let's see if I need the glasses on, I need it on to see clearly, but maybe so anyway, I decided, okay, I really can't afford it, but I'm going to pay for Zorin, the latest version, $42. Yeah, 42 So I went there and uh, paid, let me see, hang on a second here. Now, uh, I need to see. <laughs> Sorry. Terrible to get old. Uh, so in the past, I've bought a whole bunch of USB sticks that have, this one has uh, Ubuntu on it, and this one has uh, you see, this one had, well, this one had Ubuntu on it, but I can't remember now what I've, I've got a bunch of these, and that's a problem. I, I think I might have got them mixed up, but uh, I formatted this one so that I could put Ubuntu, uh, no, Zorin on it. I followed their instructions, you know, I paid them the money, and you gotta go through this long list of, of things that you do, you know, and then when you get to, when you boot up, 
and you go to the bios and then you enter that oh shit but what happened is which I so anyway I paid for Ubuntu I paid for Zorin the latest version and then it said to you know make sure that you format your your right thing you know see I downloaded it but make sure that you did the stick you know so I for you know formatted that well the Ubuntu people who put this well not there but it's some comp some guy or whatever people or company you know they of course protected uh, my sneeze the um, the Ubuntu that they put on there you know the booting up and that type of thing uh, so I was, you know, going step by step through the BIOS thing to do this and install it. And my God, I didn't make any mistakes. Apparently, well, I made a mistake, <laughs> but um, I um, went through the steps and thinking I'm never going to make it through these steps. You know, uh, I'm uh, going to do something wrong. And actually, I didn't realize what I was doing wrong was when I formatted that disk, that USB stick, it did not remove Ubuntu. Um, so then everything is going just fine. You know, the BIOS is doing this and it's asking me the questions and all that kind of stuff and then boom up pops Ubuntu, not Zorin, the new Zorin, which looks fantastic. And I thought, oh damn. <clears throat> and then I thought, oh well, okay. I've run Ubuntu many, many times. And it's okay. And so then I, you know, of course pulled it up. I didn't have much choice pulled it up and then I saw Ubuntu and the various things and no man uh, Zorin the new version it's so n slick and everything just pops up and when I like I'm thinking about my you know myself oh wow that you know you just click on that and then you see all of the you know and all of the I started to say antennas I mean hammer you know, they can have you know uh, <coughs> But I, you know, okay, there are all your audio sources, and you're right there, and you can see them, and they can, you can tell when they're flashing underneath there, and all this kind of stuff. And then, then I, I realized that Ubuntu just did not measure up to that, and did not have that, that what I wanted. So I tried to make do with uh, Ubuntu because I paid the forty-two dollars for one thing. And uh, so, um, I just wasn't happy with it. And then also, and too, I did this on purpose though. I wiped out Windows. Well, I thought I did. <laughs> I wiped out Windows. So I was burning all my bridges, you know. No going back to Windows. And then I found myself in a position where I didn't have handily my email addresses. I didn't have my uh, uh, shortcuts. I didn't have all these kind of things because I had deleted Windows. And I couldn't even write an email to somebody or do, you know, what. Now I have a cell phone, which is a piece of crap. I hate cell phones, the way they work and everything, and they don't work well with me because of my hearing loss and everything else. So I was just having... So I decided that I would try to redo this and uh, when it got down <clears throat> to where the BIOS was that I would have in you know, I'd have in Zorin. And then I saw that wasn't working, that wasn't going to work or whatever, so I just rebooted. 
And thank God for computers and thank God for uh, the different version of it and all that kind of stuff. I could not get, and I paid for it, you know, and I have a number and a whole thing that I paid for it and stuff. But what happened is, okay, my choice was boot up into Windows. And I thought, oh crap. But I did, I booted back up into Windows. I just did that about an hour or so ago. And I have everything that I had before with Windows. I don't see anything missing. And so I can click now and, and uh, you know, send the emails. I can uh, have it approved. If I go someplace and if Windows will check and see, you know, and everything, everything is fine. I'm back with Windows and back using the uh, <coughs> camera program that's built into Windows. And Man, I do. So I want Zorin, but I'm not going to touch it unless I get another computer or something. And I'm broke. Uh, <clears throat> but I do want to run Zorin because it. I just I watched five or six videos at least before I made the switch. Well, I didn't make the switch. I thought I was making the switch. Uh, so I'm back running this and hoping that it doesn't freeze up and stop doing that. And uh, now I've had to move things around. I even changed monitors. Uh, the desk is, I've cleaned it off several times, but then in order to go to bed, I had to bring everything back to it. Uh, Right now, this microphone, which is working great, but I see the cable is really tight here. I can't hardly move this thing. It's pulling away from me, you know, because of the cable. <clears throat> I need to take care of that and uh, do some other things. Um, so I was under stress for the last since when I made this thing and ended up with Ubuntu. I, uh, Darlene mentioned, you haven't eaten in a day, and I said, no, I've got a mess on my hands that I need to straighten out, and that's all I can, you know, that's all I can do. And then when I realized I hadn't been eating, <laughs> um, I, uh, so I'm back with this until I can <clears throat> do something differently. Uh, maybe I'll go to, uh, mess with OBS and uh, I'm not interested in the streaming really I'm sorry I'm not really interested in streaming uh, on OBS or you know anywhere I mean I'm willing to have something like that available but I don't I want to do this what I'm doing except better so um, now I got to catch up for a couple of days of emails and stuff like that. Uh, my daughter Hillary is supposed to, but uh, uh, I returned to her. She gave me a while back, uh, well, for my birthday, I think. Now, for a couple of birthdays ago, maybe longer. Uh, I just don't like cell phones. I don't like the way they pop things up. I don't like that the screen is so small. Things appear over the top of everything else. And there's all that crap on there. And But anyway, I returned to her Samson. I forget what number it was. I think I had a 9 from her. And she has a 10 that's available. Except the screen is broke and she's going to replace the screen. She's uh, afraid, and I am too. I've never taken the screen off. I know you heat it up, you know. And I have a, you know, heating little thing. I didn't have it for that reason, but I've got one. So anyway, now, we haven't seen Hillary in months. 
and she has all kinds. She has sick cats. I mean, she has cats that she spent thousands of dollars with the vet. She's taken, you know, a cat more than one to the vet, and they said, you know, Hillary, you really need just to let this, you know, let the cat go. You know, it's time. It's you know whatever. And Hillary won't do it. And she spent, well, she spent the money that she'd earned, and she makes good money. Uh, and uh, then she went into her credit cards, which were, I've never, I'm uh, 60, no, I'm 83, and I've had, and I have some credit cards, you know, whatever. I've never had the kind of credit that she, you know, boom, 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 because of the money that she was making. When she was in Sweden, I think she was in Sweden for seven years, working for the same company that she's working for now. And uh, <clears throat> she made a, because of her, the company brought in a million dollars in whatever Swedish money is, I don't know. Uh, and and <clears throat> they have been very happy with her, although they threaten all their employees. You know, if you don't meet this standard if you don't do this and whatever. And, and, uh, but uh, anyway, she has just spent a ton of money. And uh, well, she's like her father, and I'm her father. And she loves to spend money, although she outdoes me, you know, big time. But uh, I think she's going to bring back to me if she ever makes it here. And like I said, we haven't seen her in months and months, and she just lives right outside of, you know, Fort Worth. But she has appointments, just seems like, seems like to me every day, it's just about that she has appointments to, uh, you know, take a cat in that should be let go, you know, to be with our Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm kidding, of course, about that, but it's not funny to those of you who do believe that way. Um, so anyway, I've, have, I've for about two days I haven't been able to really send an email to somebody or answer an email or do a whole bunch of stuff. I need to go through and straighten that up. But I'm not under the stress that I've been for the last, say, 24 hours or so. And the desk is cleaned off better than it you know, was. But I, and I've hooked up to, right now the razor is going, that you're getting the video from the razor, and uh, you're getting the audio from this. There's an Avery Media there. Uh, that was another thing, when I popped up with, I, when I ended up with, uh, Not Zorin, but Ubuntu. When I ended up with Ubuntu, had the same thing that I've had problems with uh, uh, Linux in the past. You know, the uh, the camera, you know, it it, uh, it fights with you. I mean, here it is. You know, boom. If I hook a camera, up, basically, pretty much it. The problem is the audio. <laughs> Which one of these feeds is the audio feed? <clears throat> I had a friend that watches my videos a lot, and he said, do not turn away from the microphone. Love it. Get close to it. Stay to it. It's a microphone. Do not turn away from it. So here in a little bit after I upload this, I am going to uh, restring this <coughs> cable because it's pulling on something. And also, I'm thinking what, there's something new that I have. I, I can't remember. Anyway, this is a 20 minute video. Uh, what I'd like to do is go maybe with OBS. I don't know, some of you are jumping up and down. Calm down, calm down, calm down because a whole bunch of you have been OBS, 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 you know. Uh, but 
we'll see what I can do. But right now I don't want to make any, but I really would like to. See this stick, when I, I, I think I explained that to you, when I formatted it, it did not take Ubuntu off. So as it's going through the thing, installing of uh, Zorin, and I was so happy when it goes and it starts, oh, it's doing it, it's doing it. But what it did, it, you know, installed it, you know, you know with Ubuntu as the, uh, um, anyway, I'm going to, uh, or oh, our cat is better. I've mentioned several times our cat, we, we figured that our cat was really going to die because <coughs> we've never had any, uh, I think I mentioned the fact that we have a cat that has hair, you know, patches of hair growing off its body, hanging down like this far or whatever. And then over a long period of time, finally it, it separates and whatever. Well, this time it started separating, but it hasn't, been, it has gigantic, and the cat has been to the veterinarians that we went to, actually Hillary went to for us. Uh, they've never seen anything like it. So right now Dee Dee's kind of miserable with this extra hair skin hanging off of her. And she's been through it several times and then there will be, if this is the last time, if, if when this drops off or whatever, uh, she may have several months of uh, being everything's fine, you know. Maybe even feeling like a kitten or something or other and then it will start back again. But we don't know how old she is. And now if we took her to the vet and said, how old is she? I, I guess they can look at the teeth or something and give you an idea. But I think she's kind of an old cat. So the question is, am I going to outlive her or is she going to outlive me? Anyway, I'm going to end this now and check some emails for the last couple of days that I haven't been able to even check. And I just, and then I'm going to... Uh, uh, check the microphones, you know, make this one works. Maybe I'll even move it. No, I can't because of that. I've moved my desk so many times that, well, this one is, I haven't been moved very much, but this one here wiggles. <laughs> this one here doesn't wiggle, but it's when I move it and move something else, one of these others, it, now these tables that I got from, uh, one, two, thought I had three, I guess not. I think they're only about $130. And what's great for me with my arthritis and whatever is when it comes in, it comes in, you know, a top piece that's all together and four legs that are all together. And uh, that's about it. So I'm able to, with my arthritis to put this face down on the bed and then I can stand right there, or I can even roll this chair over there, and I can put the legs on, and I can tighten them up and everything. So I, it just worries me that this one table wiggles a little too much. This other one here is a solid, you know, solid one. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, give a thumbs up, I guess. Let me know what you think. You can go ahead and tell me you know, that you want me to run OBS and I will ignore you. No, I'm actually thinking of doing it because this sucks. I want to have, I want to have two monitors. I have two, I have one monitor up now. I want to have two monitors. I want to have, when you're looking at this video, I want you to see me. And I will also want you to, that I can just click and say, oh, let's check on such and such. Let's check on OBS. Let's check on uh, a webcam or that and you'll, you'll see it on the other side but I haven't seen any of people really saying you miss that I think you just miss video of me and uh, good audio so am I worrying myself anyway I'm going to stop here see what I can accomplish and go get some ice cream I haven't had any ice cream in a couple of days
my grown son, and Darlene's at the point she orders the groceries. Uh, what is it, a gallon, you know, of ice cream, and then she orders like three quarts, or what, I think it's quarts, you know, of the thing, and it's, you know, strawberry and chocolate and vanilla and that type of stuff. But my son will take like the, you know, the pint or whatever that is, and he'll just eat out of that. Now, I'm not gonna eat out after, you know, I don't know where he's been. I don't know what's been in his mouth. Or where his tongue has been or something, so. But I think there's a container he hasn't got into yet. To, um, and it just goes through the Cokes. There'll be, I, there'll be six or seven cans of Coke in his room. I'll go in there and dump them in the trash. But then there'll be other cans of Coke sitting around, and I'm going to throw them away, and they're, both of them, or three of them, will be all ice cold, because he's just taking them out and then set them down or whatever. Uh, life is a pain. Something I probably will not have to endure for much longer. Did that make you feel sorry for me? If so, then you should give me a thumbs up. Is that a good idea? Maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe God is up there. Okay, Jim got 10 thumbs up. I guess that means people want him up here with me. I'm kidding, of course. He's not kidding at all. Thanks very much for watching.